this is the case, and as science is a stranger to this world, it comes into this world and pays tribute money to be instructed in all things pertaining to the world. It pays the clergy for their opinions of truth, or science of this world, for its own amusement. It asks questions of the wise men about itself as science, as Jesus did, to hear what kind of answers they give to this spiritual world. This world is very strict. It worships science as a power not known, and is very strict in regard to its followers. It erects standards to this unknown God, or science, for it is a God not known to this world, but the world of science is in it. Now as Jesus came from this world of science, he was a stranger in this land and liable to its laws, so that his mission, like all science, being to destroy error, he must come into the world of error to lead the science that is imprisoned in this world of error to the truth, or health. Jesus knew that God, or science, was not in their worship, that all it did was to keep science down and retard it. So he must, like Samson, throw firebrands into their minds, so as to get up a disunion in order to dissolve the bands, or burdens, that kept them down. He knew that the people knew not what they did or believed. They never had any science about their belief, and had not the slightest idea of what it was or how it could be altered. They never dreamed that to be good was a science, so that all their goodness was based on fear, either of being punished by the laws or being destroyed by the science they called God. Thus all their prayers were to this science not to destroy them. For as the truth came, their life, or error, was destroyed. So Jesus said, in the name of Christ, or science, he, that is error, that loseth his life, or opinion, for my sake, or science, shall find it. So to understand Christ, or truth, was to forsake opinions and embrace truth, and not to receive an opinion from anyone who knew nothing about what he affirms. He told them how to know the difference. If any man say, I am Christ, and have not the evidence, only resting on an opinion, believe him not. For there shall be many theories and beliefs founded on opinions. So try them, and see whether they are based on science or error. Mark 13.21 If they are based on science, they can stand the test of investigation. But if based on error, you will hear a voice like the mighty winds, and the earth shall be shaken to its foundation and every idea shall arise, and they will make as much ado as the devils did when Jesus told them to depart. Men have to be questioned in regard to their belief, for it won't stand the fire of science. So they rail and foam, and if that will not do, they escape into the wilderness, or run headlong into the sea of public opinion, where the common opinion holds them. To attack public opinion is a risk. This Jesus had to run. Now Jesus' world that God, or science, was in, was science. And when he came from science, he came to this world of ignorance and superstition. It may be necessary to give some idea of Jesus' knowledge of this other world and where he differed from the leaders of his time. Jesus' two worlds were science and ignorance. Therefore, science can come from its world and go to error and release that science that is bound by error. These are the two worlds, and Jesus never intended to teach any other. Now, what the difference is between these two worlds I will try to show. 
This world is made up of all kinds of deception, superstition, and ignorance, all based on heathen superstition, governed by leaders of theories which are based on opinions and do not have the slightest foundation in truth. These two worlds are in and around everyone. The natural world is in man looking out and prophesying about the other world. The scientific world is outside of man and sees all the natural man's ideas of science, as the musician sees the errors of the natural man in regard to music. All science is inspiration and from a spirit world far above the natural man. The natural man has found it out and submits to it as a science. Now in all science God is not known by the natural man. His God is in his ignorance of himself. So when he prays, he never prays to any science or wisdom. Therefore he thinks all the phenomena he sees are the natural result of the development of man. But being ignorant of science, he is not a fit judge of the phenomena that he may chance to see or hear. And being ignorant of himself, he applies the same rules to others.